Yep. Yeah, she already started. Yeah, I know, I got that. Um, to set up your color wheels, you'll each get a piece of paper. It does not have to be cut out in a circle, but it can be. Okay, that's up to you. If you want to leave it rectangular, that's fine. Um, if you're wanting to make a circle, there are two more of these over in the first cupboard. I one of them. I followed the other one. Well, you won't need them until you figure out what you're doing anyway. Oh, oh please. There we go. Get it to go the right direction. Okay, please make sure you cover the points when you're done. The easiest way to find center on these would be if you had a yardstick, you can go from corner to corner and where that ever meets. Or you can measure. These are nine inches. What's half a nine? Four, four, and, a half. four and a half. Four and a half. Four and a half. So I you put a little mark at four and a half. And then these should be 12 this way. So that six. makes six. six. So the center is at four and a half and six. Ooh. So I found my Great. center. Excuse me, I need to grab a huge eraser. Okay. So since I know that's my center, I want to make this as large as I can. So I go out to the edge of my paper. And I'm one of those that has to turn the paper and not the. I'm yeah, Mr. Awful. Beckman tossed the turn of paper. It just works easier for me. That's what makes the best thing come. I see other people that can just hold on to the top and go whoosh. No, no, not me. Okay, so now that I have center, okay, you find center on either okay, circle or rectangle because you need to know where that is so that you can divide this into your pieces. You're going to draw one line straight across the center. Well, if you really want it straight, you can make points here and here, although it's not 100% necessary. Okay, so we want this in six parts. 360 divided by six is what? Three, Some number. 60. Six. Number. One. 60. Oh, gosh. 60. Six. It's 60. It's 60. It's 60. So at every 60 degrees, so it's going 60, 120, 180. Okay, that's all the <laughs> points you need. So 180 is the line. I know okay. that. And then I can just take my mark exactly through the center all the way across. So there's my mark, exactly through center, all the way across. If you're doing a rectangle, you're going to want to make it all the way across, okay? Yardstick. So you might want to get a yardstick if you're doing yardstick. rectangles. Yardstick. Yardsticks are over by the rhino. Rhino. Oh, big old rhino. Okay, so that makes it six parts, right? And I didn't get that exactly, but it's close enough. Because I'm not going to go around and, oh, you are two degrees off. Okay, that's not a big deal. There are some more of these in the first cupboard too, or I have these two up here. You need to share. They've been broken. I did have more. Okay, so after you get this part, it's usually easier to do this first. You're going to make sure you transfer your design over. Um, what am I going to use for my design today? That looks hard. I do a hippo. Am I in the thing? Guys. She's a cute. Cool. Is that a leaf? Yeah. Oh, wow. mm. That's a pretty good leaf. Better, better than, than mine. <laughs> Way better. Yeah. I knew it was a leaf. That's a good you thing. Know, I just, just yeah. like this. I just draw a circle and then the little stem. Okay, what? I need to make sure there's something in every area. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have a leaf and what? What should we have with it? Um, more leaves. Tiny more leaves. leaves. More leaves. A, a, a deer. A deer. A deer. A pillar. Did you say a seahorse? A female. A seagull. A whale. A talker. What is that? Oh, that's a, a bird. No. It's a bird. It's, it's a bird. bird. It's a bird with his mouth open. Oh. <laughs> quack, quack. I'm the only one no, that got it's that. It's supposed it's to be a happy happens. bird singing. Yeah. Oh. You are a little copier. <clears throat> My voice cracked. <clears throat> I'm going trees through that stage. Leaves, <clears throat> I see in the trees. Caterpillars. This statement's fourth hour reading class. You need to report to her room at this time. That'd be fourth hour reading. <laughs> oh, you're recording. Oh, and then I need, oh, they need a branch, oh, she was recording. right? You could see Julie. Yeah. Because they don't just sit on leaves. <laughs> it wouldn't work. <laughs> if they really were lights. It's If they can turn it around so you can see your face. No. My beautiful face. Silly. Do what Kyler did. <laughs> Our <laughs> photo bomb. Yeah, do yeah, I've only photo bomb. <laughs> do video bomb. Okay. It's video bomb. Get it right in the head. No, you're not in the picture yet. <gasps> That's, 
I can't do that. Oh, it's that fat bird off a Rio. Hey, it is. <laughs> <laughs> drop it, drop it, Maybe it's Chloe. It's the yellow one. That yellow bird. So you have that you can't see your face. He can kids. sing good. Each pie piece. Right? Yeah. What does the yellow bird say? Huh? You're not in it. The one with the bottle cap hat. What is she yeah. doing? <laughs> and then the flower bird. Like red buds? What? I still don't think you were in it. There you go. There we go. What is that? Just oh, a tingle for reading. It's like a red bud tree. <laughs> so I got to throw a red bud over here too. Don't you go to like... Paint it. Oh, no. You know those trees that have the white. Yeah, I know exactly what I think we're gonna do. We're gonna have to paint each section a color. Oh my gosh. Really? We're not. Okay, that's stupid. Good enough. I have something in every area, right? Okay. Birds know. Hey now. In the last cupboard over there, the glasses. You don't need a lot of water. I just put a little bit, right? Thank you. Okay, this is supposed to be red, yellow, and blue, but see how the red's dirty? Yes. I'm going to show you how to clean that. Even the yellow can be cleaned up if it's green or some other color. You just wipe Don't you just put water in there and wipe it off? Yeah. Or just a paintbrush. Hold it. Mm -hmm. So I need to get it wet. Yeah. And the red, or the yellow, is sort of nasty, too. The blue's about the only one that's not nasty. Uh, Megan, actually, uh, come with me. <laughs> Six minutes. Okay, so they're not bad, right? Yeah. Not bad. Okay, when I want to start, there's several methods. A wash is where you put it, make it wet first. Oh, we better label these. If it's red, yellow, and blue, what goes between red and yellow? Orange. Uh, orange. Roy, G, green. Purple. 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 Violet or purple. <coughs> and then it's green. green. It goes Roy, G, Biv. But that's your rainbow. Roy, G, Biv. This Roy is the rainbow. That's rainbow. It's Roy, G, Biv. No, Roy, G, Biv. This is just <laughs> primary and secondary <laughs> colors. Primary <laughs> colors are your red, yellow, and blue. Okay, so I get the area I want wet. I'm going to make this red. So I get a little red. And see how it feathers out? Yes. Okay, that's wet on wet. So if you want it washy, you Wish want it. it <laughs> you want it wet I love first. That book. Okay, watercolors are supposed to be transparent, what meaning is... not so much pigment that you cannot see through it. And this whole area is going to be red, just different amounts of pigment, so that you can see what my image is. Okay. That's cool. How neat. This little line. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> okay, so Whoa, it looks like, and like the red checkers. looks a little bit dirty, but oh well. How does it look like checkers? It does. It looks like it looks like there's a bunch of little checkerboard. Okay, no. there's also dry brush <laughs> it does. where the paper is dry. It's also blue. You're there's just a little bit of You're high. paint on here. Oh, nice. Does. That's not nice. And then I can draw with but it's it. True. Oh, it's okay, nice. what is this called? Watercolor. Dry brush. <laughs> dry brush. Dry brush. Dry brush. That too. Okay. <laughs> that too. Okay, so I want my leaf to show up. Oh, yeah. Looks good. Wherever I good. let my watercolors dry, so it should hard. give me a line. <laughs> Why are you doing that? That looks the same color. Let's be red. Excuse the interruption, but any seventh grader, if you're taking the ACT periodic assessment and hit, you have your money, please bring it to the office now. Thank you. What's that? What's that? What's the periodic assessment? Something to do with science. Yes. I think oh, it's, no, it's like an money? ACT like high school takes or whatever. I'm not doing that. It's really hot in here, guys. Your high school what? Okay. I so I'm going to let this dry and come back because red will obviously, I don't have to mix it so I can make it again. Okay, when it comes to mixing colors, I'm just going to mix it on the top of this here. So I need to make it sure it's clean. Julian, you want a videotape? No. I do. I know I take too long. So how do I make orange? You put red, red, red and yellow, yellow together. Something like that. So <laughs> something like that. Yellow. There are plastic containers that you can put mix your colors on. Okay. So there's my yellow, and I only need a small amount of red. 
I'm going to bring my sister. I see I had too much red, so what color I get? You got nasty. You got nasty. You get pink. Yeah. I thought we were talking about Guys, I love my friend. I thought we were talking about the world. Shh, guys. How about let's pay attention to our limit? Oh, now I got too much yellow. That's like a... That's mustard. That's mustard. No, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I can do my eyebrows. That looks orange. That's orange. What is that? So, same thing. Oh, dang it. Do you want to guys? Just kidding. No. Make sure you make enough of the color to fill in the area. We're only using red, yellow, and blue. So if you're going to see other colors in there, don't grab them because you're mixing all your own. Okay, if I put wet, if it's really wet and I put wet right up next to it, what's going to happen? Smear. It'll go together, but it's dry enough by this time that I can go on to the next one and not worry about it too much. Okay? Do you look so cool? It's me. It's hard for me. It's chilly. Okay. Oh, it is cold. So, I have a guys, so this is dry brush that I'm doing, right? Yes. yes. And my color is what? Opaque or transparent? Yep. Okay. Transparent. Opaque means not see-through. Transparent means see-through. Watercolors are see-through. They and are? Did, yes, they are. Wow. Oh, uh, this is dark. I did not know okay. that. Okay. <laughs> she so said that. You'll go all the way around your color wheel. Like my eyebrow. These three colors. When you're done, if you're going to cut this out, then is, would you be when you cut it out? Don't cut it out before, because it's really hard to come right up to the edge. It's much She's easier to just have hard. the edges. Okay, <laughs> questions? Mm -hmm. yeah. <coughs> Wash, dry brush. Those are the main Marsh things you need to know. Dead. There is something called resist, like Can on I Easter eggs, this? when you use um, crayon and then you put it in water and it resists. Okay, but we don't use resist for this. So okay. when do we use dry brush? When you yeah. want to have lines. Lines. Okay, this I need to come back in. Okay, go ahead and I want to see your ideas first and then I will give you your watercolor paper.